Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Blackest Night, Titans, issue number 2. Now, as you know, Blackest Night was a 2009 event where the deceased characters from, from the DC Universe returned back from the dead as shells of their former self. And the cover has Donna Troy holding the body, holding her son who is meant to be a Black Lantern. It starts off how Donna looks at the crib and sees a rattle and a voice saying, I tried to put him down for his nap, honey. And she sees that it's Terry and her son. Now keep in mind in the 80s run, Donna Troy did marry Terry who later on tragically died in a car crash. And of course, Don Troy is quick to believe that this is all real, but ends up getting bitten bitten by the Black Lantern version of her son. So of course, the Titans outside are battling the Black Lantern versions of Omen and Terror. So of course, Fick knows that this isn't them, as they know that whatever's left them were gone a long time ago. And of course, Omen starts to play with their emotions, and Starfire says, Yeah, you can't believe we would treat any Titan with such malice. We are a family and... Save for Corey, it's not Lilith. It can't be. How can you be so sure? It could be her ghost. The Lilith I know would never attack us, and I don't believe in ghosts. So, of course, you have the Black Latin version of Terra trying to manipulate Feast Boy. And, of course, does try to escape in a, in a weasel-like form, but then turns into a Manif by crushing her. And, of course, Terra basically says, Your heart, look, line, and sinker. And just as she's about to go for him, Starfire blasts Terra. And even Starfire tries to reassure him that wasn't Terra, and he knows. And they go to help Vic. So we're in a Jews at Georgetown University, where where the Black Latin version of Hawk has killed Dove's sister. So of course he starts to play with her emotions. And tries to get a reaction from her. And he said she says, Murderer! Holly was the only sister I never knew her growing up, but she became my best friend, and now she's gone because of you. So, of course, Holly does return as a Black Lantern, and, of course, the two Black Lantern Hawks take a liking to each other and go for a dove. So, of course, of course Donna ends up getting trying to escape from the Black Lantern versions of her husband and son. So, luckily, Kid Flash rescues them just in time. And even... And even... And even, like... Casty knows that... That those Black Lanterns Bar Allen was talking about was Donna's family. So, of course, you have Omen using her abilities to show what the Titan's life would have been like had Victor Stone still been human, had Starfire married Dick Grayson. So, of course, the Black Lantern version of Terra comes together and starts shaking the building down, saying, I always hated this stupid building. So, of course, she makes the building go down into the ground. And back at the fight... Dove realises that she's outmatched and needs to find backup. And of course, the two Black Latin versions of Hawk can fly now, given the fact when they were, were alive, they couldn't fly. So we see how... how, like, Kid Flash points out that he can't vibrate out of here and knows he, it will be too risky. So of course, Donna knows that this isn't her family, and whatever's left of them were gone a long time ago. But of course, Donna ends up being affected by the bite from her son. And the Black Latin logo shows up. So of course, the Black Latin version of Terra mentions about killing the Titans at last. But we're shown that Tempest has become the Black Latin. 
with the Black Lightning versions of Aquagirl, Dolphin, Panther, and Wildebeest. And this is the story. So issue two is a is a bit more grounded. It's kind of meant to show how these former Titans are now back for blood. And I also do like the idea that it shows a bit more of a dangerous side to them. So, thumbs up. Comic Reviewer here, signing out.